he didn't do it. He come and suffered and took the hard, rugged route. He took the route of persecution. He took the route of death. Are we this morning willing to do that, that same route that he took? Are we willing to die? Are we willing to give ourselves up to God? Far but all the world and things to serve for him. Now, he failed to do it. Willingly to, to forfeit it, Satan was to him, but he didn't do it. Though Jesus was tempted, he overcome for us. He, he endured all temptations for me and for you. See, he could have took it right then. But what did he take the other route for? So that we could come be with him. And if he paid such a price as that, then how little would we be? Not to take it. When well, remember, there's nothing here anyhow. If you live a hundred years, why you go to come to mental in your mind gone, all crippled up and old and shaky? That's where you're going. And that's the end of it. You come now. Overcome the things. How do you do it? By the word. What the word says you do. Walk humble. Live before Jesus. He endured all things for you and I. He is our example how to overcome our evil generation as he overcome his evil generation. Remember, when he comes to the earth, there's just as much unbelief or more than there is at any time. It didn't bother him a bit. When they called him a devil instead of God, when they called him everything that could be done, it didn't bother him a bit. He had one objective, mind the Father. Keep the word. The word is God. He had one mind. <clears throat> We're sometimes tempted to go back. Many of you tempted to go back to the denomination. Go back and take up because all the world say, what denomination you belong to? What church are you affiliated with? We're tempted to do that. All of us are. Our sisters are tempted to go back. Go back and join up with the, some of the rest of the churches. With some of the assemblies or churches of God or some of them still be Pentecostal and let your hair cut off and dress us about any way you want to. See, you're tempted to do that. Go back and be pauper of this wicked generation that we're living with when this is the major sin of our days. It's a major sin among our people, worldliness. As the Bible said, the lady, lady of see her age was, she's worldly, rich, have need of nothing, don't know that she's naked, miserable, wretched, blind. That's the sin of our days. When you hear the word of God, call out against it. And then you take the other out, you're unpopular with the world. You're tempted to go back. I know you keep saying to me. I know you're saying all the time. I know you get tired of me harping on these things. I get tired seeing you do it too. Amen. This sin that I'm trying to tell you about. I say, what are you harping on it for? Stop doing it then. I'm trying to save your life. That's right. By the word. I get tired also. They just straighten up. This is a sin. It shouldn't be done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 